And I thought you did a lot of things right tonight, but your forward line's still an issue. But you happy with that? I'm really pleased with the performance. I think that West Adelaide coming off a week which would have been tough for them with the result against Sturt last week. So our preparedness for what they would bring I thought it took a bit to endure. They had three goals on the board pretty quick and we were able to match it. And I thought from quarter time we were able to play it in our half predominantly, which was really pleasing. But the conversion, it's a forward line thing, but it's a team thing. Like it's been a mm. year that's way too many games we kick more behinds than goals. But I am pleased with how they played our way to have the game played in our half. So that was really satisfying. You look at tackle count, it was massive. Mm. That's a good sign that the players are really committed to what they've got to do. Yeah, I think both teams can be committed on that. I think night games at the parade do lend themselves to those yep. top performances. We're a pretty strong contest-based team. I think most teams coming up against us are aware they need to play that way, which I thought Westies did a really good job. They end up winning contested possession and tackle, which is a good effort. So, yeah, it was a really hotly contested game right throughout for four quarters, I thought, and especially once the Jew came in, more of a ground ball game. So, yeah, it was a tough game. I've been really pleased with the players because I thought that was a really strong win against a team that competed very hard. Uh, your forward issues, that you've got Pedro up there tonight. Mm. He was the latest option you're trying out there. Yeah, well, we lose Piopolo and Tranfer, who have yep. been mainstays down there all year, and we've looked to explore with various models up there to try and get the right mix, but I thought Pedro made a difference. I think Sam Morris has come in and actually made our forward line look sharper with Nelligan, so you go the experience of Pedro, Nelligan and Morris, but they compete. Uh, yep. Pasco comes in, he competes, and Binder's improving all the time, and Shenton's been really good, have been swung back there, and Boyd's a competitor, so it's a bit of a misfit board line, I say that respectfully, because of how they've come yep. together. So, from my experience in footy, trying to establish good chemistry and synergies of forward line takes a while, but when they compete like that, they give us a chance. How long will Poppy, Poppy be out? Uh, my latest was that it'd probably be two to three weeks in a brace, and yep. generally that would match how much conditioning you'd have to do after that. So, I would have thought four to five, so, might just be able to, if we're able to make our way into the finals, it might be around that time. So we're pretty hopeful. That's a big step, though, towards finals. Yeah, yeah I think it's a pretty important game. Uh, yeah. One thing, I'm not a massive ladder follower. I've got a fair idea what our win-loss is and all that, and who we're going to place. But I'm a big believer in just keep the SANFL to take care of the ladder if we just keep taking care of what we've got to do. And Friday night, the parade against a tough opponent in West is the way they compared tonight. It's really satisfying and we control our destiny. Not been a ladder follower, Rex, my next question, mm. because I was going to say you're tied now with North and South. I know they've got the game tomorrow, yep. but you can still take third. But you're not a ladder follower. No, so I'm not, no a, I'm I don't say that. <laughs> I don't say that uh, flippantly or generically. Yeah. I just think if you get consumed, which is a coach, yeah. looking at the permutations, it's wasted stress. And if you put more time into what you can do and mm. how we were going to improve off, improve off the back of the Glenelg game last week, all those things are where your energy should be directed towards, but it's not lost on me what was on the line tonight. I certainly knew what it would mean if, if we weren't able to get it done. It would put a lot of pressure on the last two weeks, but walk away, keeping them to, I think it was what, 40 points to be keeping to, and win by five goals is very satisfying. Good job, mate. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, Twig, just a quick question. Um, you know, obviously, what you what the boys have been able to do this year is, you know, find the way to respond after, you know, a tough loss. What was the message from you during the week, though, to get the boys up for this one? I don't think it was me trying to get them up. I understand your question, Joe. It's more yep. understanding where our game's at. Yep. And off lockdown, we set ourselves to improve a couple of phases of our game. Mm -hmm. And I think we've done that over the course of two weeks. And to continue to do that's challenging. And to stay up and keep point putting a group together that can perform together is the challenge. But this group trained really hard. They fully invested in what we want from them. And I've admired that from them all year. So uh, I don't take any credit. It's all to do with the players, the way they professionally deal with defeat, recover their bodies from a six day game, uh, six days ago we played to be ready to perform tonight. So it was really pleasing from there. And I thought our leadership by Shenton downwards was excellent tonight as well. Beautiful.